if you want to sculpt using 30 minutes, I think this lesson is for you. Lesson 44, I want to show you how to do sculpting using 30 minutes. The thing is, you need to understand that, yes, you're sculpting, but we always sculpt with the direction of the trend. By the time you are saying, I'm sculpting a cell, you need to identify that the market is on a downtrend. So there is no way you can sculpt a cell and you are ignorant of where the trend is going. So let me show you quickly how you can sculpt using that minute time frame. And if you have, if at all you are new here, this is lesson 44. You can imagine I've done so many lessons since lesson one. So if you want to catch all these lessons, uh, the link is in the description box, the playlist you can go and watch from lesson one. Now we're in lesson 44. So scalping, scalping using 30 minutes. We will still do the three rules that we did in the first scalping video. Number one, you want to check that your trend is downtrend. So number one, what is the trend? It can either be up, uptrend or downtrend. And even if you're going on 30 minutes, whichever the trend is. So in this case, I'm showing you a downtrend. So discover what trend, the trend. So it can be either downtrend, uptrend. So in this case, we have a downtrend. And downtrend is uh, where support has BOS. So if you want to know if um, my market is on a downtrend, support zone is getting broken. So, and then we use, we use what? We use four hour to mark, to mark current resistance. So note when you are, when you are working with an uptrend, you will mark your current support. When you're working with a downtrend, you're marking your current resistance. Do you know what the reason why we are marking our current resistance? If at all we need to sell, we need to sell from the resistance area. We don't want to sell just anywhere and then market start to retrace. Why? Because in scalping, retracement is the, the enemy of scalping is retracement. Why? Because you just want 10 pips. You don't want the market retracing 50, 70 pips and you just wanted 20 pips. So we, we use the four to mark the current resistance. So if it was an uptrend, you would have said current support, current resistance. And then number three, you will uh, check for pattern. So if, if a pattern of downtrend, what makes the market go down? On a downtrend, which pattern supports the downtrend? Which pattern supports sellers? So we are looking for pattern, check pattern. And in this case, we are looking for a double top. So if you say a double bottom, double bottom is for buy, double top is for sale. So there's, there's someone who can open their chart and instead of getting a downtrend, this is a downtrend, instead of getting a downtrend, what do they get? They get an uptrend. So you will do vice versa of this. So if the trend is uptrend, you will look, number two, you will look, the, the, you'll, you'll mark the current support and then you'll be looking for a double bottom because double bottom, that's what makes the market to buy. So I think that's the difference that you need to note. Now, uh, with the three instructions, let's now start from, from one. So we, we mark our highest point because you need to know that this is an actual downtrend. So you can see where the market is. And of course the market is at the lower side, meaning the market is coming from the upper side going down, meaning it's a downtrend. And then now when we are here, we mark the current resistance. There are so many resistance, so many resistance, like I have a resistance there, I have resistance, even I'm not picking all of them because there are so many resistance around this place, another resistance here, another resistance here. Like if I want, I can name so many resistance, but you need to understand that the, res the current resistance with from the highest to the lowest, the current resistance is this one. I know, yes, you can say the current resistance is this guy over here, but this scalping strategy, we are focusing with the leg, the leg of downtrend. We are not focusing with the leg of uptrend. That's why I'm not picking this. We are focusing on that leg of downtrend. So the leg of downtrend, the current resistance is that zone. So once you get that current resistance, that is where if you only use four hour, that's the only place that they can give you a double top. So you see check pattern for double top. And mostly 
the pattern will not come from the four hour. Check pattern double top from lower time frame. So most of the time, it won't come out from the four hour because it can't be scalping if everyone can see. Scalping means uh, it's a short term trend and then the market might reverse on you. So if, the, if everyone is seeing this double top, Trust me, they'll come and everyone here will sell and banks won't make money. So when the, the bank wants to do those small moves, they will use something that many people and majority are not seeing. So if you, if you notice a downtrend, you have marked your current resistance, which is a pattern that you can get like a double top. You come here and mark this is my double top, possible double top and uh, my lowest point today is my neckline, and then now you wait. So what you do, we cannot wait blindly on four hour. Yes, you will put even the, the I have said, you don't just wait on your chart. You just put a lot here. You'll put a lot on that zone. But again, you might put that a lot and the market will never reach this area. The question is, what if the market comes around here and, and drop? You see, you can't know. You, when the market is going up, when you remain on four hour, you will never think it can be dropping. You will be even asking, why, what is making the market drop? And here I don't have a resistance zone. So the market might drop and comes and break here without you knowing what really happened. And that, I think that was what was disturbing me. I could see on my time frame there's no support, there's no resistance, and the market stops from a zone and fails to break and continue and reverse it. So what we'll do, we'll go to two hours and you are trying to look between the lowest and the possible double top, do we have another zone? So we start from two hour. So what we are interested in is, is this area. Is there any zone from the possible double top to the lowest point? Is there any zones that we can see there's nothing? On two hours, there's nothing. We do again on two hours. Do we have any like a resistance? Is there anything? like a, 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 an indication that this market might come and reach this, there is nothing. So you see, when you find that there is nothing and you don't continue with the other time frames, you might say the market will eventually come here. But notice when we flip 30 minutes, tell me, do you see any kind of a resistance? So if this is my 30 minutes, you can see for a whole 30 minutes, the market stopped here. Do we have a green candle? For a whole 30 minutes, the market stopped here. So I have two zones before the, the four hour reaches. And that's what makes scalping easier. Why? You are seeing things that not everyone who can see. So when that is seen, you'll come and place your possible double top on the first zone because you don't know what the market will use. And then you will place on the second zone. So we are placing on both zones. And these zones, note, the, the farthest is for week for the four hour. But these two are for 30 minutes. In fact, they are not visible on any other time frame. When you have this, it will still apply the same rule of one time frame. This is a sure trade. Once it hit here, you use CSB, it is a sure, sure trade. So let's see what happens when you come to four hour. Where I have marked, do we have, do you think we have a resistance? No. So there's no inter interference with this such as trade. There won't be any interference. So let's go to 30 minutes. So what you do, because now you have identified, so you won't be selling. Yes, the market is going down, but you can't just sell anywhere. Because if you sell right now, you ask yourself, what if the market goes up, that is 26 pips negative. If it continues that 51, and it can keep continuing. So you don't want, you don't want to be in the wrong side. Uh, you just want to have a very good opportunity. So you come and put a lot here and will be alerted once the market gets into that zone. So let's see what happens. And you see, as you're waiting, you can never know how long you will wait. You just uh, wait for the market to tap this area. So we are waiting for the market to tap this area and you have put a lot. So the phone call, you will have a phone ring and either in a message or uh, an email. So we are waiting for the market either to activate that area. So let's see what happens. 
you can see these are 30 minutes of waiting. You're waiting and you, you are doing other things. As long as you have not gotten that notification, you cannot come back to check. So maybe after a day, you will come and check what is happening. Maybe you'll find there was so many consolidation. You can see here a lot of consolidation. You can see we are almost activating and we have get that activation. Can you see we have activation? So finally, when the market comes like this and already you had an alert in your phone, eh, that alarm rings. Like you can't assume it. Also, don't put the beeping, put the one that rings, that the alarm clock that rings. Once it triggers this, it will ring and notify you. So you come and check and you're thinking, oh, I have the double top that is not available on four hour. I have a chance to scale. So where is my half? This is my half. It's clearly it has RBS, meaning that this double top is supported. Having that uh, the trend is on a downtrend, I have a double top, has RBS, like so many things are supporting this sell. So the only thing that now you need to do is to apply CSB strategy, current support break. So C is B strategy is what you will apply. So we are waiting for a current support. You can see here we have a current support. That red candle has given us a current support. So it's either the market creates a new current support or they break here. So let's see what happens. That's why I tell people, even if it's calping, you have to put in work. There is putting in work. And eventually that current support is broken. Now this is where you come in. This is where you come in with your long short position, short position, and you're entering this trade. And when you're entering this trade, you're so happy. Why? Because any lot that you will put, according to your capital, that's how much you will earn. So the first trade, you're getting 25 pips. The stop loss is above the weeks of that high. So that's where you put your stop loss. Let's see what happens. Did the market hit our, our take profit? So the market comes down, doesn't mean because it's scalping, it will, the market actually broke. I think I've gone fast. So the market hit our take profit. You can see that we had this market weaking to take our stop loss, but because you had put around beyond, when, when I say the candle that breaks, you put above it, like with 10 pips, that's what I say, because this one came to take, stop losses now you have gotten 25 pips what happens you can now trade again around this area like that and now we are targeting where to the neckline so your first 25 pips and then let's see how many pips are those 36 pips so you have 36 pips so let's see what happened in the market you can see the market hit our tp very clearly, like, you know, when you're scalping and you know what will happen, it is very, very, very fulfilling. Now, the double top, if they break that neckline, the market is going this distance. Note, a complete double top goes to four levels. Take away profit one to half, take profit two to the neckline, take profit three half of the distance, which is guaranteed. From there, TP4 is not guaranteed. For me, I don't trade after TP3. So we are targeting now TP3. Once neckline is broken, we will target TP3. Once neckline is broken, we'll target TP3. You go and try. Go and try this scalping strategy. As long as your double top on the lower time frame is not on four hour, it shall work. So let's see what happens. Did it break? So we are waiting for the market to break that um, we are waiting for the market to break that neckline. So we wait for the market to break. Again, you can put a lamp around that area so that when price nears that area, what they will do, it will ring and it will notify you. So you can see the market is almost, and you see at this time, there's nothing you can do, you cannot buy, you cannot sell. 
you are hoping that double top because it was only on 30 minutes, it will at least complete once it breaks. So the market ranges, so this is like a ranging uh, pattern and automatically they have broke that neckline. So what you need all this time, don't be glued only on 30 minutes. You can flip on four hours to check how candles is closing after four hours. You can flip after one day what is happening. So don't place your eyes only on 30 minutes. Yes, we want the market to break, but don't place your eyes only on 30 minutes. So once that market breaks like that, we enter short position and this time we are targeting to TP3 and we are done with this trade. So don't force the trade after that. Do not force the trade. So we get another 35 pips. So we have gotten 35, 35, 20. That is around 87 or 90 pips. So let's see what happened. Did the market hit our take profit? Can you see the market hit the take profit? So some scalping will be very direct, others, and you see with the pair that you choose, some scalping will be just uh, ranging before the hit TP. But if I do scalping with GBP, JPY, gold, and all that, it's only a matter of 30 minutes and the TP is hit. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have learned something. As long as a pattern is only on one time frame, that is not for hour, maybe one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, even if you find a double top that is on 15 minutes, you can still trade that. As long as that rule is there, you're able to scalp and you're able to make money. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you are learning a lot. Bye-bye and I love you.